Hey everybody, I'm Christy Carlson Romano. And I'm Brendan Rooney. And this is Bucket List Bistro. In this episode, we are going to bring a little taste of New Orleans right into your kitchen. Today we're going to be making a classic spicy gumbo. And for dessert, we'll whip up a famous New Orleans treat. Beignets! Let the good times roll. So for starters, we have chicken legs, shrimp, and dewy sausage, chicken broth. Chicken wings, bay leaves, vegetable oil, tomato paste. And salt and pepper. So the first thing we gotta do is take the tails off these shrimp. I got that. You can go ahead and put the oil in there and get the chicken wings going. Sounds good. Oh my goodness. Teamwork makes the... Actually guys, we're gonna teamwork. start using the shrimp tails because there's a ton of flavor in them. So we're throwing in the shrimp tails and the chicken wings. There you go. Gonna brown those up. Brendan, I miss New Orleans. I wanna go back. New Orleans is a city we both love very, very the much. The Bon Ton Roulé. We're huge live music fans. We love jazz, Preservation Hall, these places we've been. We miss it very much and look forward to the day where we can go back there. But for now, this is how we're going to get there. Uh-oh. hey -o. You don't belong in there yet. I shouldn't You're not belong in there yet. I should just peel the shrimp tails. So we're going to move this around. We're going to brown everything here. So it's a great place, great people, but the food, oh my goodness. There are just so many flavor profiles in food from New Orleans that it's pretty impressive. Question. Well, that's working. Why are there three different pronunciations of New Orleans? There's New Orleans, New Orleans, and New Orleans. Well, New Orleans is for somebody that's actually from there. Like Creole, right? Perhaps. I, I actually don't know about that, but I think it's much more of a, of a, so of a, a Creole southern like way of saying New Orleans and New Orleans. These are brown and pretty good. We're going to go ahead and put a tablespoon of tomato paste in there. We're going to make this get glossy. We're going to glossify it. So I'm going to go ahead and slice our andouille sausage. The andouille has got a spice to it, right? Ooh, I like that. I'll tell you what, I ate gator once. Really? Maybe twice. Really? Yeah, I ate a lot of random things down in New Orleans. This is smelling really good. So go ahead and let's put this chicken stock in and the chicken legs now. Chicken stock and chicken legs chicken next? Chicken stock, chicken legs. Oh man. Chicken stock, chicken stock, how we love thee. You spice up the flavors of andouille. Oh. Giving it a little stir, a stir rooney Okay, so we're throwing some salt and peppered chicken legs in our gumbo pot. By the way, do you guys all like the decorations? I honestly really do enjoy us making these fun um, destination dishes because it allows me to decorate. You know, I, I get to have like a little party every time we get to film one of these. It's so much fun with you. It is fun. I enjoy your company very much. So uh, let's put the bay leaves in. Let's get started on our beignet mix. Let's do it. So we have bread flour, evaporated milk, eggs, salt, yeast, sugar, water, and shortening. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a mixture, a couple mixtures actually. So Ooh. this is the water, the yeast, and the sugar. So we're going to Mix City. And we're mixing. Oh my gosh, beignets, amazing. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like an Italian donut, if you think about it. Like right? a bambolini. Yeah, but I'm sure that they're probably French inspired, right? Beignet, oh, yeah. beignet. The be beignet, beignet is a French word. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this mixture, which is the milk, the eggs, and the salt. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it weird that I kind of want to like eat it raw? I uh, know. Anything with evaporated milk makes me want to eat it. So we're going to pour all this mixture into these three cups of flour here. Let's do it. You want to help me with that? I friend? sure do. Okay. I'm going to do this yeast mixture first, okay? Go for it. Now we're going to add the evaporated milk combo. How about, yay, how about the shortening? Yeah. Let's Mama's do little it. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Wow, you're Mama's like little baby loves shortening. Very uh, sing-songy today. Go ahead and uh, dump this a little at a time. I think if the scoop. Are we doing this whole thing? Yeah, we're gonna do this whole thing. Okay. But we're gonna go like just a little bit at a time here. Can you put that in there for me? Sure. I'm just gonna pour it from the bowl itself because this is just. All right, honey. You know, work smarter, not harder, as they say. What I also really love about New Orleans is the architecture and how really there's nowhere in the world. Disneyland, that's it. <laughs> not the same, honey. Well, they made a little fake mock of that. Come on, Pirates of the Caribbean. I need more energy to be around you right now. Hey, it's infectious. You know what? You've got more muscles. You do this. Can I do this by hand? Because if it ain't new a gooey, then what's it doing? You know? 
We're gonna let this awesome dough rise for about two hours. And in the meantime, we're gonna get back to our gumbo. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the roux. It's basically a thickening agent for our, uh, our gumbo. We have tomato paste, cayenne pepper, thyme, onion, celery, the andouille, flour, oil, scallion whites, garlic, and green pepper. All right, so let's go ahead, now that we have that on a high heat. We're gonna put the oil in? Yes. Then we're gonna whisk this together on a very high heat so then it gets a little brown and thick. All right, Brad, you get, you get that for me, baby. I am ruining it up. Nice. All okay, right. here we go, now what are we doing? Putting in the scallion whites. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Some garlic, green peppers, celery. Whoa, so onion, eh? This is awesome. So it's not just a thickening agent because it's got all that stuff in it, but it's like also how we're making the body of the gumbo. So in, uh, in New Orleans, another memory I have, karaoke. There's so many karaoke bars. It's, I think there's one of the oldest bars in America exists. Really? Yeah, I mean, we, New Orleans is an old we city. We went there though. We went, we passed by there and it's, um, hmm. I forget what it's called, Lafitte or it's some French, uh, French one and it's on a corner. It's funny, cause I know a lot of <laughs> the places. I just don't remember the names <laughs> of what they were called. Cause you kind of hop around, you know? Now we're gonna add the sausage to the roux. And the uh, tomato paste, another Ooh. tablespoon. And a little yeah. more tomato paste. You, know, you think you can get this one? Oh yeah, I got nice. it. Nice. So right now we're gonna put in the spicy part of the gumbo. Now I will say this, Brenda and I are not very good with spice, so we may edge closer to half. But I like it. You do? I love it. My stomach doesn't love it, Okay, but, but do I you wanna it. do this? I'm just asking you. Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh boy. Let's add that. All right. Boom. And some salt and pepper, sir. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I just remembered another place that's amazing down there. There's so many amazing restaurants. The restaurant scene is so good. And the food and the chefs, like Emeril, Emeril Lagasse has a place down there. Does he? Yes. Um, bam, thanks. bam, bam. So that gumbo is looking real good. We're gonna take it off now and shred the chicken. And also, remember, we have those fish tails, those shrimp tails. Gotta get them out. We gotta get those shrimp You don't shrimp wanna eat out. those, that's just for flavor. That's not a good look. Shrimp tail in your mouth. You don't want that. Mm -mm. All right, so guys, now that we have uh, drained the broth, we're gonna slowly pour this in and incorporate the broth with the roux. Look at all that. Wow. Oh, flavor and color. Look at how vibrant that already looks. This is New Orleans in a pot right here. So now we're gonna throw in some okra to make okay. it super tasty. Oh, I can't wait, I love okra. And now we're gonna throw in those shrimp without the tails. Oh, that just flopped right out. You did it. I'll stir it with you. So we wanna make sure that we're at a pretty high heat here. So we're gonna cover this and start deep frying our beignets. Boom, boom. So go ahead and hold our dough. It's been rising for about two hours. And I'm gonna go flour the surface. I'll just dump it all. Here you go. All right. Get in there. Oh, wow, this is a different kind of dough. It smells really good. All right, this is looking good. And these are gonna fluff up once they hit the deep fryer, so. So what you wanna do is take out your basket, set those beignets in that basket. Look at how much beignet. Let's try. Round one of beignet making. So you're gonna cook those at 375 and check in about three minutes just to see how they're looking. So while those beignets finish cooking, we're gonna put the rest of the stuff in our gumbo pot. All right, let's do it. Let's put the filet powder in. Woo! This is the business right here. Put in the shredded chicken. Ah! And we are good to go. We're gonna let that simmer for just a few more minutes while we take these beignets out and get them ready. Those are looking great. They look perfect. Look how golden they are. How fluffy they are. This is so cool. All so right. now you wanna immediately Put your powdered sugar on here while they're still hot. I'm so excited to eat those. I wanna eat, eat these those. and I wanna eat the gumbo. I wanna eat it all. All there is left to do is try our food. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, we're just winning in this kitchen. What? So good. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. This is the real deal. Can I try that one or should I have my- Get your own. <laughs> This is legitimately like feeling like you're here in New Orleans. Mm. Guys, thank you for coming. We had a blast. This was really fun. 
If you want to see more Bucket List Bistro, make sure you tune in every two weeks here on Taste of Fox's YouTube channel. See you soon. And don't forget your passports, guys. <laughs> You're going to need them. <laughs>